Wag a leg, wag a leg, when will it go? A summer, a summer, when the owls are all lamb. When the cows are all coved and the roads are all dry. I'll go with me mammy to milk the kai. We've been doing a tub project for Killip Mine. And it's really fun to like learn about the history of where, you're, where you've been and to do it with your friends. I learned about what they used to work and how like difficult it was and how different it was so now. Like, for example, like the washing, um, it used to take three days and now it just takes like a few hours. That really surprised me. And the difference is like we have cars today, well like then you like would travel on like a horse. Yeah, there's very, very little. I found my great granddad's actually, I didn't even know he was in the wall. That's good, that's good. Hey. Oh, yeah. uh, when Thomas first uh, joined up through the army after being uh, clock in his early life he would have actually came through this building here as his home port and uh, after leaving here going to war and getting there uh, killed uh, his name was put on the uh, memorial board and it's actually over here I was diagnosed with autism at a really young age but I got the opportunity to start an autism awareness course and after being on that for a while um, I started to learn a lot more about myself and started to understand more about why I felt the way I did. So I realised I wanted to do what they were doing. I wanted to help other people who might have been uh, having difficulties. Uh, basically this space became available. Um, it's exactly what I need. The space is fantastic. Uh, the help I get from NBC is phenomenal. Um, I couldn't really operate a sustainable business on the first year if it wasn't for these guys. They get me loads of, uh, loads of bookings, which means I get to do what I love as a job. It might be useful to provide a patient's guide, um, a booklet about who works there and different roles, um, some of the unwritten rules about the ward. It might help if that includes photos. And you can always discuss with the person what might help them. As a mum of two young people who are autistic and have a learning disability, it feels very close to home and it's really upsetting just thinking about it really. I don't understand how people can treat each other with such cruelty and sadly I think it's because some people see people who are different in any way, who might be autistic or have a learned disability, as being less than them and less than human. And I think that's why this abuse occurs.